Hey there, story lovers. Welcome back to another thrilling chapter of our tale. Today, we're diving into chapter two, where the air is thick with anticipation and the snow crunches underfoot. Lila Harper and Ethan Mills are on a journey through the icy landscape, heading towards the quaint cottage of Old Man Jenkins. The windows glow warmly against the stark white snow, promising stories and secrets waiting to be uncovered. So, buckle up and get ready for a ride through mystery and legend. Let's see what truths lie beneath the snow in Frostwood. Stay tuned, because this chapter is going to be a roller coaster of emotions and revelations. As Lila Harper and Ethan Mills trudged through the snow, the crunch of their boots echoed in the crisp winter air. The quaint cottage of Old Man Jenkins loomed ahead, its windows glowing warmly against the stark white landscape. Lila's heart raced, not just from the cold, but from the weight of the stories she hoped to uncover. She glanced at Ethan, whose brow was furrowed in skepticism, a stark contrast to her bubbling curiosity. The chill of the winter air seeped into their bones, but it was nothing compared to the chill that had settled in Frostwood since the snowman had appeared. The townsfolk whispered about the legends, their voices laced with fear and uncertainty. Lila knocked on the door, the sound echoing in the stillness. The door creaked open to reveal old man Jenkins, his long white beard shimmering like frost. Ah, young ones, come in, come in, he beckoned, his voice warm and inviting. The interior of the cottage was a stark contrast to the cold outside, filled with the scent of cinnamon and wood smoke. Lila stepped inside, feeling the warmth envelop her like a comforting blanket. Old man Jenkins settled into his armchair, the fabric worn but cozy. You seek the truth about the snowmen, don't you? He asked, his blue eyes twinkling with a mix of mischief and wisdom. Lila nodded eagerly, while Ethan shifted uncomfortably, his skepticism evident. The snowmen are not mere myths, my dear children. They are the manifestations of our town's sorrow, created from the pain and regrets of those who came before us. Jenkins explained, his voice dropping to a whisper as if the walls themselves might overhear. Lila leaned forward, captivated. Each word painted a vivid picture of the town's past, filled with loss and heartache. As Jenkins spoke, Lila felt a deep empathy growing within her. She imagined the townsfolk, their faces etched with grief, and the burdens they carried. Each snowman they encountered would be a reflection of those unresolved emotions, forcing them to confront their own fears. Ethan, however, remained skeptical. But how can we trust that these stories are true? He challenged, crossing his arms defensively. Lila shot him a glance, urging him to listen. Jenkins chuckled softly, his laughter like the tinkling of bells. Sometimes, Ethan, the truth is hidden beneath layers of disbelief. You must be willing to peel back those layers to see what lies beneath. The conversation shifted as Jenkins shared tales of the town's history, each story more haunting than the last. Lila felt the weight of the past pressing down on her, but it also ignited a fire within her. She realized that understanding the pain of the townsfolk was the key to unraveling the mystery of the snowman. As the sun dipped below the horizon, Casting long shadows across the room, Lila and Ethan prepared to embark on their journey. They would confront the snowmen, not just as figures of fear, but as symbols of the town's collective sorrow. With each encounter, they would face their own internal conflicts, learning that vulnerability was not a weakness, but a strength. The chapter closed with Lila's resolve hardening. She would not shy away from the truth. She would embrace it, for only then could the town begin to heal. The snowy landscape outside seemed to shimmer with possibility, reflecting the emotional journey that lay ahead.